thoughts now that the season has come to an end? I'm sure disappointed to not still be playing. Um, just your overall thoughts on the year and, and now heading into the off season. <laughs> yeah, it was a long year for sure, and um, a lot transpired and um, with the coaching change and a bunch of different things. But um, I think going into the year, everyone thought that we would, uh, you know, there's a chance we'd be in the playoffs, or that's what we were definitely striving for. So definitely a little disappointing um, at this point in time. But um, I think there's, you know, still things to look forward to. I think, you know, uh, you know, Debmer being injured for a big portion of the season definitely didn't help us. And um, when he came back, I thought we were definitely better. You saw we went on that 10 and 2 run uh, a couple of weeks ago, and with the coaching change and Footer and Talk and Gonch and those guys, um, I think they're definitely going to help us. So definitely a little disappointing right now, but um, looking forward, I think that it's uh, you know we should be excited going into next year. JT was in here a few minutes ago, talked about the foundation that's been built here over the last couple of months. Is that sort of a big reason for optimism for you? What you guys, you referenced the 10 and 2 run, you know, the way you've defended as a group has, has been improved. Are those things that you're, you know, optimistic about going forward? Yeah, for sure. I think everyone should be optimistic. I mean, like I said, uh, Gonch and Talk and Footer, I think they've done a, you know, really good job with everyone. And, um, me personally, I'm really excited to continue working with them. And uh, I think as a core, as a team, everyone's got a clear message of what um, is expected from them. And defensively, I think that they've helped us with uh, their systems. And again, you know, with Demer being out and then coming back, that's also a huge part of um, the, the defensive play. And um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say right now that, um, you know, we should be optimistic going into the year, but I think that um, you know, we got a lot of good pieces here and things are moving in the right direction. So like I said, it's been, it's been a difficult year for sure, but I think that, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be a better team and a better group for next year for what we dealt with this year. Quinn, a lot of your optimism comes from trying to improve offensively and your shot. Uh, I know you get a lot of your um, drive from your rich family heritage and, and your brothers. Uh, I'm sure you may have seen uh, Luke's goal. And I'm just wondering what that does for you, knowing that you guys are all going to train together and to be pushed by your brothers. And hey, is, it, is Luke going to show you how to score, or how's that going to play itself out? He's always, uh, you know, it's weird. Even in the summer, he's got that scoring touch. Like, he, he can score. Yeah, I mean, he had 19 goals as a freshman defenseman. Hasn't been done in like 55 years or something. So, um, and then this year, sophomore, I don't know what he had, but 13 or 14. So he's a um, really good player, I've been telling you guys. And, um, you know, I'm not worried about what he's doing right now. He could, I told him he could have went out there and been dash three. He could have been plus three. My, you know, mindset wouldn't have changed with him. I think at 23, 24 years old, he's going to be a really, really good player. And um, So we'll see what happens with them in the playoffs. But, uh, yeah, as far as the summer with my brothers training, it's it's been great. and. You know, with Larkin and wearing skiing and all these guys that are there, um, I think we really just push push each other, and it's been fun. And you look at all the guys that have um, you know skated with us, Kyle Connor, and um, the last couple of years their games have just gotten better, including my own. So I think we've just pushed each other, and um, I think going into this summer, I'm more hungry than other summers just because uh, how this year went. But um, I think we'll just continue to keep getting better, all of us. Connor, you hold yourself to a pretty high standard, and, and goals can come and go, but you finish with a hat-trick performance against your old club. What, what did it mean to you in, in the sense that just not only proving to yourself, but that that's a pretty good performance at the end of the year? Is there a sense of satisfaction in that, or is there a bit of frustration in the sense that you, you like to be more consistent? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, it's just one game, and um, last game of the season, so especially when you're out of the playoffs for a month there, it doesn't really mean much at all, so uh, just... Just a, it's just another game, and um, you know, obviously, it's nice to win the last game, but um, you know, we're not in the playoffs, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't really matter. Oliver, you were injured on February fifteenth, and then after that, I think a couple of times you expressed a hope, at the very least, that you would get back. What went into the decision ultimately to to shut you down for the season? Did the body just not respond to a point where you could? And were you ever skating again? Like, did was it a possibility? Uh, 
I mean, I wasn't ready. Um, I've been skating the last week, so um, that was kind of the mindset. Um, but yeah, I, I'm feeling better now. Uh, like I said, I started skating last week and taking baby steps, but uh, yeah, I, it wasn't feeling uh, too good. And, and I knew it was going to take um, six to eight weeks, and, and we're around that uh, time now, so it, it started to, to feel better. Sir Quinn, I want to pick at something. You talked about advice to your brother and saying he's going to be a really good player at 23, 24, uh, which just caught my ear because you're that age now. Do you feel like your game took a significant step getting into that sort of window? Yeah, I think it has. And uh, like as a young defenseman, it's really hard because um, you're trying to make plays and you have the puck on your stick a lot. and. You're playing against really good lines, and my second year obviously uh, struggled defensively, and um, I think that a lot of guys go through that. I mean, you look at Dallin; he was dash 33 that year, and now he's you know one of the best in the league, I would say. So I think a lot of guys go through that. Just you know, the more you see, the more you get, and um, it just you know as you continue to play in the league and you get more and more games, the more comfortable you feel and the more confident you are. So I think for Luke, it's going to be the same thing, just reps. Um, He's going to be a really good player. I mean, he's a really good player right now. And uh, definitely, I think, can play in the league. And I think he's shown that in the last couple of games. But um, like I said, I, I think in the long run, uh, when he's 23, 24, he's going to be you know, a hell of a player. So um, that was just what my mindset is. And as far as my game right now, I feel very confident. I think uh, last year was a big you know, growing step for me. And then this year, I think I took another step. So, Oliver, you spent a long time in this league been a top young defenseman. Uh, what did you see from your teammate? And I know it always makes you guys uncomfortable to talk about a guy when he's right beside you. But what did you see from Quinn in terms of the step he took this year versus your first season as teammates last year? Yeah, I mean, I obviously knew that he was an unbelievable player. Um, but at the same time, um, last year, I thought he got a lot better, um, proved his D-zone uh, game. Uh, and even this year, like he's been lights out um, all over the ice, so it, it's fun to see. And, and I mean, I'm just happy to 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 get a chance to play with a guy like that and, and try to help as much as I can. And, and I, ho I hope I am uh, in in some ways. So, uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun to to see him grow. And, and I mean, on and off the ice, it's it's been a, a really really fun year and, and been unbelievable for me to to just be a part of it. Oliver, uh, just before the injury even, just uh, how challenging of a season was it for you personally and what are your uh, hopes this off offseason uh, to, to accomplish and to, to work on? Yeah, I think it's been a, been a tough year for all of us. Uh, I think uh, everything going on, um, getting a new coach and, and that kind of plays into to the season too. But yeah, for me, um, I'm obviously disappointed in my season and, and when you don't make the playoffs, it's, it's going to be... Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to the summer to to really work out and and come in in great shape because I I broke my foot at the Worlds last year and I kind of had to to battle through uh, in the summer and and felt like yeah it was not a ideal to to come in for for camp and and um, I hope that I have a really good summer and, and um, really want to to get better and, and prove that I'm a good still a good player. Thatcher, for you. Uh you, you finished the season so well. Uh, for the whole organization, next year's start after the last couple of years is so important. Uh, take me through kind of how you see your off-season preparation so that you can start at the level you finished this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think you need to go rewrite the book on um, what you're doing in the summer. Um, I typically get here pretty early. Um, so I think... You know, it's. Uh, I'm not going to change too much. Obviously, like you said, uh, our starts as a group, and um, you know, me personally, this year I wasn't wasn't pleased with my start. Uh, it's got to be better. I, I think we the last two years, you know, we we get into this, uh, December and we're already behind the eight ball, and um, just makes the season a lot more difficult that way. So, uh, I, th I know that's a, a focus of our group. Um, you know, as a group and as individuals, uh, to come in ready to go and. Um, you know, be, be coming out of the gate. When you had the injury um, and you had that time, did you have a time to kind of reflect on why your season started the way it did? 
Um, I mean, I think it's natural as a, a, an athlete and competitor to try and figure out um, the reason behind the times that you don't perform well. Um, you know, I, I learned a lot about myself through the injury um, physically. Um, you know, I, I feel like I'm a lot more knowledgeable in, in that realm. And I, I think, um, you know, leading up to the injury, I wasn't feeling super great. And obviously, you know, that was the end result. But um, I took the time that I had with the injury to, to learn about my body and, and learn some different things that I can do to, to make sure that I'm, I'm performing at the level I have to. So do you think that injury is something that is avoidable or was that just a, a fluke that, you know, you can't really prepare for something like that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, injuries are going to happen, but um, obviously we can do things to you know, do our best to prevent them, so. Thatcher, there was a, a lot of optimism, obviously, at the end of last season, and we saw what happened at the start of this one. Do things feel differently now? Does, does what has happened the last two months, does that seem any more sustainable to you than what had happened last season? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's a little more tangible. Um, like, you can see it. Um, you know, just our defensive play, the structure that we've put in place. Um, Huggy mentioned, you know, the staff coming in and, and putting in some new systems, and, and I think that's stuff that we can build around. Um, I also think just as a group, we learned a lot. You know, coming into this year, we were so optimistic and um, maybe took that for granted. You know, we came, we, we finished the year pretty well there, um, you know, pushing for a playoff spot. and. Um, you know, just realizing that nothing's given to you and you got to come in ready to go. And, um, you know, I know a lot of the, the guys took that to heart, so. Oliver, you, you talked about the foot injury last year and how that affected. In hindsight, you know, should you have prepared differently for the season? Was it something that you maybe didn't anticipate? You know, is there something you have to change going forward preparing for the season? Uh, I mean, I couldn't really skate last summer. Uh, I think that plays into, um, to the way I was feeling uh, early on in the season. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that I could, um, and I know I, I will, because um, I'm feeling a lot better now and I'm skating already, so um, I'm excited. Do you, do you think you have to change who you are as a player going forward? No. Uh, Quinn, maybe a bit of a follow-up on Ian's question to Satcher. Do you see, are you, feel good about moving forward? Do you think the team has taken the steps it's needed this year so the team can be a playoff contender next year? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> I think that we have a great coaching staff, and I think that we have a lot of good players. We had a lot of injuries this year as well. And I think that if you look at the you know, Devils, for instance, they had a, you know, struggled last year, and then they put it together this year. So I think that can definitely happen. Um, you know, it was mentioned here earlier, but I think just the start's going to be really important next year. And um, I think we definitely can do what we want to do. You and Elias were kind of, and, you know, along with a couple other guys, but the two of you stood out this year on a team that had a lot of struggles. Moving forward to next year, how, how, how do you see yourself in that position next year? Like, people are going to look at you and Elias as the two players that, and probably Thatcher too, the two players that are going to carry this team. Personally, how do you how do you accept that role? I don't know. We uh, I think you know can't speak for Elias, but I think we're you know competitive guys. I know Timer definitely is, and um, you know we want to just you know try to be as good as we can. I think that was uh, the biggest thing for me, especially like the last twenty games. It's not easy to be playing when you're not necessarily in the race. But I think for me, my motivation was just try to push myself and um, try to you know be as good as I can as a player and. I think this summer I have a lot of ideas in my head, things I want to get better at and work on, and hopefully that can um, continue to help, you know get me better as a player next year. And I feel really motivated right now. It wasn't an easy year, and um, excited to go home and rest and recoup and take some time off. But um, I'm, you know, going to be you know looking forward to this summer and next year. So I think there's a lot we can continue to do, especially you know Demer and Peter, are still young guys, myself and. I think that um, we have a bunch of other really good players as well that you know um, want to have really good years next year and are competitive guys. And um, you listen to O up here talk about that as well. I think um, summer is going to be big for everyone, and 
um, I think guys are going to be excited and hungry to come back next year to you know prove that um, we're a good we're a good team. Uh, Thatcher, we've heard quite a few of the players mention that they played well, and especially when you were in net. Do you look at that as sort of pressure, and do you kind of enjoy that that the guys know this team plays extremely well when you're on your game? Is that something you see as pressure or something else? And do you, do you like that being put on you? Um, I mean, playing in this market, I wouldn't consider that pressure. <laughs> um, I mean, like Huggy just said, like we all just want to be our best. And um, there's responsibility that comes with that. And, you know, it's up to the individual to, to do the things that they have to do to, to be the best version of themselves on and off the ice. So. Uh, and Quinn, for you, we've seen some brothers in the NHL be pretty supportive of their brothers when they're in the playoffs. Do you have any plans with uh, following the Devils or anything? Yeah, um, I'll go watch, uh, support those guys, and should be fun. They had a great year and deserve to, you know, be in the playoffs, of course. So I'm excited to watch them. Uh, for Connor, when you first were playing under Talkett in Arizona, you were playing upwards of 18 minutes a night. You know, you've shown you could produce in this league, but you weren't quite utilized to the same role here in Vancouver. Were you surprised that maybe you didn't get more of an opportunity in the latter half of the season with Talkett here? Uh, uh, I thought I had uh, opportunity. Um, I think it was just uh, in a different role. And, uh, you know, I enjoy playing for Talk. Um, you know, he's a great man and, uh, you know, he's, he's a really good coach and uh, very detailed and, and works hard. And, um, you know, his energy kind of comes through the room in that sense. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, I know the guys here enjoyed playing for him as well. So it was, uh, it was good to have him back for the second half. Quinn, uh, in, when did you sort of perceive there was maybe a cloud over Bruce? And how did that affect the team, you think? Um, <clears throat> probably pretty early on, to be honest with you. And I think that... Uh, it probably wasn't an easy thing for him to deal with and um, and the other coaches and uh, definitely stressful for them. And, um, you know, as players, you just kind of got to focus on what you can control. And I think that's a big thing for players, just not letting other outside distractions get to you. But um, definitely as his, uh, you know, his tenure kind of came to an end, it was definitely... Um, a cloud there or a little distraction and uh, you know obviously it's a situation you don't want to see and um, but you know Bruce was a good man and good coach and uh, you know felt bad for him but at the same time um, you know I think it was something that probably needed to happen just you know after seeing talk and gone from some of the guys and, and uh, footer the way that they communicate and uh, you know are teaching and helping guys I think that um, it's definitely clear that that was that needed to happen. Quinn, you obviously want to be back in the playoffs. Talkit has talked about how you've been more vocal and more of a leader. Do you take it on yourself to challenge your teammates going into this off season to prepare in a different way? I don't know. I think, like Thatcher said, everyone's a professional here, and you gotta. It's you know up to the individual. I know for myself, and I'm. Um, like I said, I feel very motivated going into the summer. Um, I feel like there's still lots of growth for me. I'm only 23, and I think that from 20 to 23, there's been a lot of growth. And I, you know, I think that from 23 to 26, there can be more growth as well. So that's where my head's at as far as um, me trying to be more of a leader. I think that there's lots of guys in here that I can rely on and have talked to and um, have you know helped me throughout the season. And I think that there's still so much for me to learn. And um, I think for me, it was more just trying to push myself out of my own comfort zone and um, continue to you know, grow as a you know, person, not only as a player. So as far as that, there's still lots of, you know, lots of guys um, for me to lean on. I mean, um, you know, lots of good leaders in here. And um, like I said, I'm still a young guy, still trying to you know, piece it all together and learn and continue to learn. And um, we'll see what happens. Two more. I'll Oliver, I'm going to ask you to talk about the guy next to you again. Uh, as a former captain, have you seen his growth as a leader? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I was talking a little bit about it before. I think just yes, the way he carries himself off dice and, and the way he's playing, I think, I mean, I knew 
coming in that he was an unbelievable player, but I didn't know how hard he worked uh, on and off the ice. Uh, so um, that's been been really fun to see for me. And, and like he said, I feel like he's been taking, taking big steps uh, off the ice and <clears throat> a lot of pride in being a leader and, and being the guy uh, for this team. So uh, like I said, it's, it's fun to, to be a part of. Uh, Quinn, this time last year when we met with you guys, there was a little bit of uncertainty around Bruce's future, and obviously that got sorted out into the off season. How important is it going into this off season that Rick's been here, he's been able to clearly communicate the standards he wants you guys to set, and you're able to approach the summer understanding where the expectations are going to be heading into training camp? I think it's really important. I mean, you know, I think there's a lot of confidence, you know, um, everyone's working together. I'd say everyone's pulling the same rope. So I don't know if it was like that last summer, but I think right now that's definitely um, what's going on. So I'm excited to, you know, get back next year. Like I said, I'm going to go home and take some time to recruit and rest. But, um, you know, going into next year, I think, like I said, everyone's pulling the same rope. Everyone knows what's going to be asked of them. Everyone knows how we want to play and what the standard's going to be in the locker room. So. It's up to everyone to show up to camp, you know, ready to go and with the right mindset. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what happens.